Plasma from ancient Greek plasma, meaning moldable substance is one of the four fundamental states of matter, and was first described by chemist Irving Langmuir in the 1920s. Plasma can be artificially generated by heating or subjecting a neutral gas to a strong electromagnetic field to the point where an ionized gaseous substance becomes increasingly electrically conductive, and long range electromagnetic fields dominate the behavior of the matter. Plasma and ionized gases have properties and display behaviors unlike those of the other states, and the transition between them is mostly a matter of nomenclature and subject to interpretation. Based on the surrounding environmental temperature and density, partially ionized or fully ionized forms of plasma may be produced. Neon signs and lightning are examples of partially ionized plasma. The Earth's ionosphere is a plasma and the magnetosphere contains plasma in the Earth's surrounding space environment. The interior of the Sun is an example of fully ionized plasma, along with the solar corona and stars. Positive charges in ions are achieved by stripping away electrons orbiting the atomic nuclei, where the total number of electrons removed is related to either increasing temperature or the local density of other ionized matter. This also can be accompanied by the dissociation of molecular bonds, though this process is distinctly different from chemical processes of ion interactions in liquids or the behavior of shared ions in metals. The response of plasma to electromagnetic fields is used in many modern technological devices, such as plasma televisions or plasma etching. Plasma may be the most abundant form of ordinary matter in the universe, although this hypothesis is currently tentative based on the existence and unknown properties of dark matter. Plasma is mostly associated with stars, extending to the rarefied intracluster medium and possibly the intergalactic regions. History The word plasma comes from ancient Greek plasma, meaning moldable substance or jelly, and describes the behavior of the ionized atomic nuclei and the electrons within the surrounding region of the plasma. Very simply, each of these nuclei are suspended in a movable sea of electrons. Plasma was first identified in a Crookes tube, and so described by Sir William Crookes in 1879, he called it radiant matter. The nature of this cathode ray matter was subsequently identified by British physicist Sir J. J. Thomson in 1897. The term plasma was coined by Irving Langmuir in 1928. Louis Tonks and Harold Mott Smith, both of whom worked with Irving Langmuir in the 1920s, recall that Langmuir first used the word plasma in analogy with blood. Mott Smith recalls, in particular, that the transport of electrons from thermionic filaments reminded Langmuir of the way blood plasma carries red and white corpuscles and germs." Langmuir described the plasma he observed as follows Except near the electrodes, where there are sheaths containing very few electrons, the ionized gas contains ions and electrons in about equal numbers so that the resultant space charge is very small. We shall use the name plasma to describe this region containing balanced charges of ions and electrons. Topic. Properties and parameters Topic. Definition Plasma is a state of matter in which an ionized gaseous substance becomes highly electrically conductive to the point that long-range electric and magnetic fields dominate the behavior of the matter. The plasma state can be contrasted with the other states, solid, liquid, and gas. Plasma is an electrically neutral medium of unbound positive and negative particles i.e. the overall charge of a plasma is roughly zero. Although these particles are unbound, they are not free in the sense of not experiencing forces. Moving charged particles generate an electric current within a magnetic field, and any movement of a charged plasma particle affects and is affected by the fields created by the other charges. In turn this governs collective behavior with many degrees of variation. Three factors define a plasma. The plasma approximation. The plasma approximation applies when the plasma parameter, lambda, representing the number of charge carriers within a sphere called the Debye sphere whose radius is the Debye screening length surrounding a given charged particle, is sufficiently high as to shield the electrostatic influence of the particle outside of the sphere. Bulk interactions. The Debye screening length defined above is short compared to the physical size of the plasma. 
This criterion means that interactions in the bulk of the plasma are more important than those at its edges, where boundary effects may take place. When this criterion is satisfied, the plasma is quasi-neutral. Plasma frequency, the electron plasma frequency measuring plasma oscillations of the electrons is large compared to the electron neutral collision frequency measuring frequency of collisions between electrons and neutral particles. When this condition is valid, electrostatic interactions dominate over the processes of ordinary gas kinetics. Topic: <laughs> Temperature Plasma temperature is commonly measured in kelvins or electron volts and is, informally, a measure of the thermal kinetic energy per particle. High temperatures are usually needed to sustain ionization, which is a defining feature of a plasma. The degree of plasma ionization is determined by the electron temperature relative to the ionization energy and more weakly by the density, in a relationship called the Saha equation. At low temperatures, ions and electrons tend to recombine into bound states atoms and the plasma will eventually become a gas. In most cases, the electrons are close enough to thermal equilibrium that their temperature is relatively well defined, even when there is a significant deviation from a Maxwellian energy distribution function, for example, due to UV radiation, energetic particles, or strong electric fields. Because of the large difference in mass, the electrons come to thermodynamic equilibrium amongst themselves much faster than they come into equilibrium with the ions or neutral atoms. For this reason, the ion temperature may be very different from usually lower than the electron temperature. This is especially common in weakly ionized technological plasmas, where the ions are often near the ambient temperature. Topic fully versus partially weakly ionized gases for plasma to exist ionization is necessary the term plasma density by itself usually refers to the electron density that is the number of free electrons per unit volume the degree of ionization of a plasma is the proportion of atoms that have lost or gained electrons, and is controlled by the electron and ion temperatures and electron ion versus electron neutral collision frequencies. The degree of ionization alpha displaystyle alpha is defined as alpha equals n i n i plus n n display style alpha equals frac n underscore i n underscore i plus n underscore n where n i display style n underscore i is the number density of ions and n n display style n underscore n is the number density of neutral atoms the electron density is related to this by the average charge state z display style wrangle z wrangle of the ions through n e equals z n i display style n underscore e equals wrangle z wrangle n underscore i where n e display style and underscore e is the number density of electrons in a plasma the electron ion collision frequency nu ei display style nu underscore a is much greater than the electron neutral collision frequency nu en display style nu underscore n therefore with a weak degree of ionization alpha display style alpha the electron ion collision frequency can equal the electron neutral collision frequency nu ei equals nu en display style nu underscore a equals nu underscore n is the limit separating a plasma from being partially or fully ionized the term fully ionized gas introduced by Lyman Spitzer does not mean the degree of ionization as unity, but only that the plasma is in a Coulomb collision dominated regime, i.e., when nu ei greater than nu en, nu underscore a greater than nu underscore n, which can correspond to a degree of ionization as low as 0.01%. A partially or weakly ionized gas means the plasma is not dominated by Coulomb collisions, i.e., when nu ei nu en, nu underscore a. Most of technological engineered plasmas are weakly ionized gases. 
Topic: <laughs> Thermal versus non-thermal cold plasmas. Based on the relative temperatures of the electrons, ions and neutrals, plasmas are classified as thermal or non-thermal, also referred to as cold plasmas. Thermal plasmas have electrons and the heavy particles at the same temperature, i.e. they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Nonthermal plasmas on the other hand are non-equilibrium ionized gases, with two temperatures, ions and neutrals stay at a low temperature sometimes room temperature, whereas electrons are much hotter. T E T N displaystyle T underscore E G G T underscore N a kind of common nonthermal plasma is the mercury vapor gas within a fluorescent lamp, where the electrons gas reaches a temperature of 10,000 kelvins while the rest of the gas stays barely above room temperature, so the bulb can even be touched with hands while operating. A particular and unusual case of inverse nonthermal plasma is the very high temperature plasma produced by the Z machine, where ions are much hotter than electrons. Topic. Plasma potential Since plasmas are very good electrical conductors, electric potentials play an important role. The average potential in the space between charged particles, independent of how it can be measured, is called the plasma potential, or the space potential. If an electrode is inserted into a plasma, its potential will generally lie considerably below the plasma potential due to what is termed a Debye sheath. The good electrical conductivity of plasmas makes their electric fields very small. This results in the important concept of quasi-neutrality, which says the density of negative charges is approximately equal to the density of positive charges over large volumes of the plasma. N E equals Z N I Display style n underscore e equals Langle z wrangle n underscore i. But on the scale of the Debye length, there can be charge imbalance. In the special case that double layers are formed, the charge separation can extend some tens of Debye lengths. The magnitude of the potentials and electric fields must be determined by means other than simply finding the net charge density. A common example is to assume that the electrons satisfy the Boltzmann relation. N e E E Phi K B T E Display style N underscore E propto E carrot E Phi K underscore B T underscore E Differentiating this relation provides a means to calculate the electric field from the density E equals K B T E E N E N E display style vec e equals k underscore b t underscore e e nabla n underscore e n underscore e. It is possible to produce a plasma that is not quasi-neutral. An electron beam, for example, has only negative charges. The density of a non-neutral plasma must generally be very low, or it must be very small, otherwise, it will be dissipated by the repulsive electrostatic force. In astrophysical plasmas, Debye screening prevents electric fields from directly affecting the plasma over large distances, i.e., greater than the Debye length. However, the existence of charged particles causes the plasma to generate, and be affected by, magnetic fields. This can and does cause extremely complex behavior, such as the generation of plasma double layers, an object that separates charge over a few tens of Debye lengths. The dynamics of plasmas interacting with external and self-generated magnetic fields are studied in the academic discipline of magnetohydrodynamics. <laughs> Magnetization Plasma with a magnetic field strong enough to influence the motion of the charged particles is said to be magnetized. A common quantitative criterion is that a particle on average completes at least one gyration around the magnetic field before making a collision, i.e. omega c e v c o l l 
greater than one. Display style omega underscore mathrm c e v underscore mathrm call greater than one, where omega c e display style omega underscore mathrm c e is the electron gyro frequency and v c o l l display style v underscore mathrm call is the electron collision rate. It is often the case that the electrons are magnetized while the ions are not. Magnetized plasmas are anisotropic, meaning that their properties in the direction parallel to the magnetic field are different from those perpendicular to it. While electric fields in plasmas are usually small due to the high conductivity, the electric field associated with a plasma moving in a magnetic field is given by E equals minus V times B display style math BF e equals V times math BF B where e display style math BF e is the electric field V display style math BF V is the velocity and B display style math BF B is the magnetic field and is not affected by Debye shielding. Topic: <laughs> Comparison of plasma and gas phases. Plasma is often called the fourth state of matter after solid, liquids, and gases, despite plasma typically being an ionized gas. It is distinct from these and other lower energy states of matter. Although it is closely related to the gas phase in that it also has no definite form or volume, it differs in a number of ways, including the following. <laughs> Plasmas in space science and astronomy Plasmas are by far the most common phase of ordinary matter in the universe, both by mass and by volume. Above the Earth's surface, the ionosphere is a plasma, and the magnetosphere contains plasma. Within our solar system, interplanetary space is filled with the plasma expelled via the solar wind, extending from the Sun's surface out to the heliopause. Furthermore, all the distant stars, and much of interstellar space or intergalactic space is also likely filled with plasma, albeit at very low densities. Astrophysical plasmas are also observed in accretion disks around stars or compact objects like white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes in close binary star systems. Plasma is associated with ejection of material in astrophysical jets, which have been observed with accreting black holes or in active galaxies like M87's jet that possibly extends out to 5,000 light years. Common plasmas Plasmas can appear in nature in various forms and locations, which can be usefully broadly summarized in the following table. <laughs> Complex plasma phenomena Although the underlying equations governing plasmas are relatively simple, plasma behavior is extraordinarily varied and subtle. The emergence of unexpected behavior from a simple model is a typical feature of a complex system. Such systems lie in some sense on the boundary between ordered and disordered behavior and cannot typically be described either by simple, smooth, mathematical functions, or by pure randomness. The spontaneous formation of interesting spatial features on a wide range of length scales is one manifestation of plasma complexity. The features are interesting, for example, because they are very sharp, spatially intermittent the distance between features is much larger than the features themselves, or have a fractal form. Many of these features were first studied in the laboratory, and have subsequently been recognized throughout the universe. Examples of complexity and complex structures in plasmas include Topic. Filamentation Striations or string-like structures, also known as Birkeland currents, are seen in many plasmas, like the plasma ball, the aurora, lightning, electric arcs, solar flares, and supernova remnants. They are sometimes associated with larger current densities, and the interaction with the magnetic field can form a magnetic rope structure. 
High power microwave breakdown at atmospheric pressure also leads to the formation of filamentary structures, see also plasma pinch. Filamentation also refers to the cell focusing of a high power laser pulse. At high powers, the nonlinear part of the index of refraction becomes important and causes a higher index of refraction in the center of the laser beam, where the laser is brighter than at the edges, causing a feedback that focuses the laser even more. The tighter focused laser has a higher peak brightness irradiance that forms a plasma. The plasma has an index of refraction lower than 1, and causes a defocusing of the laser beam. The interplay of the focusing index of refraction, and the defocusing plasma makes the formation of a long filament of plasma that can be micrometers to kilometers in length. One interesting aspect of the filamentation generated plasma is the relatively low ion density due to defocusing effects of the ionized electrons. See also filament propagation. Non-neutral plasma The strength and range of the electric force and the good conductivity of plasmas usually ensure that the densities of positive and negative charges in any sizable region are equal. Quasi-neutrality. A plasma with a significant excess of charge density, or, in the extreme case, is composed of a single species, is called a non-neutral plasma. In such a plasma, electric fields play a dominant role. Examples are charged particle beams, an electron cloud in a penning trap and positron plasmas. Topic. Dusty plasma, grain plasma A dusty plasma contains tiny charged particles of dust, typically found in space. The dust particles acquire high charges and interact with each other. A plasma that contains larger particles is called grain plasma. Under laboratory conditions, dusty plasmas are also called complex plasmas. Topic. Impermeable plasma Impermeable plasma is a type of thermal plasma which acts like an impermeable solid with respect to gas or cold plasma and can be physically pushed. Interaction of cold gas and thermal plasma was briefly studied by a group led by Hannes Alvin in 1960s and 1970s for its possible applications in insulation of fusion plasma from the reactor walls. However, later it was found that the external magnetic fields in this configuration could induce kink instabilities in the plasma and subsequently lead to an unexpectedly high heat loss to the walls. In 2013, a group of materials scientists reported that they have successfully generated stable impermeable plasma with no magnetic confinement using only an ultra-high pressure blanket of cold gas. While spectroscopic data on the characteristics of plasma were claimed to be difficult to obtain due to the high pressure, the passive effect of plasma on synthesis of different nanostructures clearly suggested the effect of confinement. They also showed that upon maintaining the impermeability for a few tens of seconds, screening of ions at the plasma gas interface could give rise to a strong secondary mode of heating, known as viscous heating leading to different kinetics of reactions and formation of complex nanomaterials. Topic. Mathematical descriptions To completely describe the state of a plasma, all of the particle locations and velocities that describe the electromagnetic field in the plasma region would need to be written down. However, it is generally not practical or necessary to keep track of all the particles in a plasma. Therefore, plasma physicists commonly use less detailed descriptions, of which there are two main types. Topic. Fluid model Fluid models describe plasmas in terms of smoothed quantities, like density and averaged velocity around each position see plasma parameters. One simple fluid model, magnetohydrodynamics, treats the plasma as a single fluid governed by a combination of Maxwell's equations and the Navier-Stokes equations. A more general description is the two-fluid plasma picture, where the ions and electrons are described separately. Fluid models are often accurate when collisionality is sufficiently high to keep the plasma velocity distribution close to a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. 
Because fluid models usually describe the plasma in terms of a single flow at a certain temperature at each spatial location, they can neither capture velocity space structures like beams or double layers, nor resolve wave particle effects. Kinetic model Kinetic models describe the particle velocity distribution function at each point in the plasma and therefore do not need to assume a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. A kinetic description is often necessary for collisionless plasmas. There are two common approaches to kinetic description of a plasma. One is based on representing the smooth distribution function on a grid in velocity and position. The other, known as the particle in cell pick technique, includes kinetic information by following the trajectories of a large number of individual particles. Kinetic models are generally more computationally intensive than fluid models. The Vlasov equation may be used to describe the dynamics of a system of charged particles interacting with an electromagnetic field. In magnetized plasmas, a gyrokinetic approach can substantially reduce the computational expense of a fully kinetic simulation. Artificial plasmas Most artificial plasmas are generated by the application of electric and or magnetic fields through a gas. Plasma generated in a laboratory setting and for industrial use can be generally categorized by, the type of power source used to generate the plasma, DC, AC typically with radio frequency RF and microwave the pressure they operate at, vacuum pressure the degree of ionization within the plasma, fully, partially, or weakly ionized the temperature relationships within the plasma, thermal plasma TE equals TI equals TGAS display style T underscore E equals T underscore I equals T underscore gas non thermal or cold plasma T E T I equals T G A S display style T underscore E G G T underscore I equals T underscore gas the electrode configuration used to generate the plasma the magnetization of the particles within the plasma magnetized both ion and electrons are trapped in Larmor orbits by the magnetic field partially magnetized the electrons but not the ions are trapped by the magnetic field non magnetized the magnetic field is too weak to trap the particle particles in orbits but may generate Lorentz forces. Topic: <inaudible> Generation of artificial plasma. Just like the many uses of plasma, there are several means for its generation. However, one principle is common to all of them: there must be energy input to produce and sustain it. For this case, plasma is generated when an electric current is applied across a dielectric gas or fluid an electrically non-conducting material as can be seen in the adjacent image, which shows a discharge tube as a simple example DC used for simplicity. The potential difference and subsequent electric field pull the bound electrons negative toward the anode positive electrode while the cathode negative electrode pulls the nucleus. As the voltage increases, the current stresses the material by electric polarization beyond its dielectric limit termed strength into a stage of electrical breakdown, marked by an electric spark, where the material transforms from being an insulator into a conductor as it becomes increasingly ionized. The underlying process is the Townsend avalanche, where collisions between electrons and neutral gas atoms create more ions and electrons as can be seen in the figure on the right. The first impact of an electron on an atom results in one ion and two electrons. Therefore, the number of charged particles increases rapidly in the millions only after about 20 successive sets of collisions, mainly due to a small mean free path average distance traveled between collisions. Topic: <laughs> Electric arc With ample current density and ionization, this forms a luminous electric arc a continuous electric discharge similar to lightning between the electrodes. Electrical resistance along the continuous electric arc creates heat, which dissociates more gas molecules and ionizes the resulting atoms where degree of ionization is determined by temperature, and as per the sequence, solid-liquid gas plasma, the gas is gradually turned into a thermal plasma. A thermal plasma is in thermal equilibrium, which is to say that the temperature is relatively homogeneous throughout the heavy particles i.e. atoms, molecules and ions and electrons. 
This is so because when thermal plasmas are generated, electrical energy is given to electrons, which, due to their great mobility and large numbers, are able to disperse it rapidly and by elastic collision without energy loss to the heavy particles. Examples of industrial, commercial plasma Because of their sizable temperature and density ranges, plasmas find applications in many fields of research, technology and industry. For example, in, industrial and extractive metallurgy, surface treatments such as plasma spraying coating, etching in microelectronics, metal cutting and welding, as well as in everyday vehicle exhaust cleanup and fluorescent, luminescent lamps, fuel ignition, while even playing a part in supersonic combustion engines for aerospace engineering. Topic low pressure discharges Glow discharge plasmas, non-thermal plasmas generated by the application of DC or low frequency RF capacitively coupled plasma CCP, similar to glow discharge plasmas, but generated with high frequency RF electric fields, typically 13.56 MHz. These differ from glow discharges in that the sheets are much less intense. These are widely used in the microfabrication and integrated circuit manufacturing industries for plasma etching and plasma-enhanced chemical vapor deposition. Cascaded arc plasma source, a device to produce low temperature approximately equals 1 electron volt high-density plasmas HDP. Inductively coupled plasma ICP, similar to a CCP and with similar applications but the electrode consists of a coil wrapped around the chamber where plasma is formed. Wave-heated plasma, similar to CCP and ICP in that it is typically RF or microwave. Examples include helicon discharge and electron cyclotron resonance ECR. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Atmospheric pressure. Arc discharge. This is a high-power thermal discharge of very high temperature, approximately equals 10,000 K. It can be generated using various power supplies. It is commonly used in metallurgical processes. For example, it is used to smelt minerals containing aluminium oxide to produce aluminium. Corona discharge, this is a non-thermal discharge generated by the application of high voltage to sharp electrode tips. It is commonly used in ozone generators and particle precipitators. Dielectric barrier discharge DBD. This is a non-thermal discharge generated by the application of high voltages across small gaps wherein a non-conducting coating prevents the transition of the plasma discharge into an arc. It is often mislabeled corona discharge in industry and has similar application to corona discharges. It is also widely used in the web treatment of fabrics. The application of the discharge to synthetic fabrics and plastics functionalizes the surface and allows for paints, glues and similar materials to adhere. The dielectric barrier discharge was used in the mid-1990s to show that low-temperature atmospheric pressure plasma is effective in inactivating bacterial cells. This work and later experiments using mammalian cells led to the establishment of a new field of research known as plasma medicine. The dielectric barrier discharge configuration was also used in the design of low-temperature plasma jets. These plasma jets are produced by fast-propagating guided ionization waves known as plasma bullets. Capacitive discharge, this is a non-thermal plasma generated by the application of RF power e.g., 13.56 MHz to one powered electrode, with a grounded electrode held at a small separation distance on the order of 1 cm. Such discharges are commonly stabilized using a noble gas such as helium or argon. Piezoelectric direct discharge plasma is a nonthermal plasma generated at the high side of a piezoelectric transformer PT. This generation variant is particularly suited for high efficient and compact devices where a separate high voltage power supply is not desired. Topic MHD converters A world effort was triggered in the 1960s to study magnetohydrodynamic converters in order to bring MHD power conversion to market with commercial power plants of a new kind, converting the kinetic energy of a high-velocity plasma into electricity with no moving parts at a high efficiency. 
Research was also conducted in the field of supersonic and hypersonic aerodynamics to study plasma interaction with magnetic fields to eventually achieve passive and even active flow control around vehicles or projectiles, in order to soften and mitigate shock waves, lower thermal transfer and reduce drag. Such ionized gases used in plasma technology, technological, or engineered Plasmas are usually weakly ionized gases in the sense that only a tiny fraction of the gas molecules are ionized. These kinds of weakly ionized gases are also nonthermal, cold plasmas. In the presence of magnetics fields, the study of such magnetized nonthermal weakly ionized gases involves resistive magnetohydrodynamics with low magnetic Reynolds number, a challenging field of plasma physics where calculations require dyadic tensors in a seven dimensional phase space. When used in combination with a high Hall parameter, a critical value triggers the problematic electrothermal instability which limited these technological developments. Research Plasmas are the object of study of the academic field of plasma science or plasma physics, including sub-disciplines such as space plasma physics. It currently involves the following fields of active research and features across many journals, whose interest includes. Research examples See also Notes